Shalom, my name is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. The importance of IUIC short films is that we are embarking on, or I should say endeavoring down a path or up a path that has never been done in the world. We want to show biblical perspectives uh, from a black point of view, showing black characters, which are biblical characters. Uh, we, it's not, every time you look at biblical movies, you see European images. You rarely see true, actual black images. Like most people don't realize that the first five books of Moses takes place in Africa. That, that's, poof, that's mind blowing. People don't realize that. They're gonna realize it with IUIC short films though. IUIC short films was created because Christ said in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The truth of who the Israelites are and what they did and encountered uh, has never been portrayed on film before. But now it shall be shown to help set our minds, our spirits free from mental bondage. Uh, the vision we have is to show all the biblical ancestors, all the biblical forefathers and foremothers are uh, true resemblances, what they look like um, and they look like us. That's the, we have to stress that over and over. Whether old, young, uh, middle-aged, teenage, we're gonna show all age range, all complexions under the spectrum. And it's very important to help, help us emotionally, help us mentally, spiritually. It's going to help us immensely. And I believe that by us showing this, we can help reduce black on black crime in a major way. Uh, Europeans paint a false narrative regarding our history. They have set themselves up building the pyramids, dwelling in Africa. Like I said earlier, the, the, those first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, takes place in Egypt, way before the Ottoman Turks, when Nubians, alleged Nubians, uh, was ruling. And when I say Nubians, I mean dark-skinned races, black, black, black. Races with big giant lips and big nose and uh, woolly, woolly hair when they were ruined. So that must be portrayed. Moses, for example, was raised in the house of Pharaoh as Pharaoh's son. He could never have been European, never. The false narrative of Europeans portraying themselves as the greatest people on earth is a falsehood. Uh, it has done two things. It has uplifted themselves and mentally destroyed us. It has caused us grave family disparages. Uh, it has harmed us mentally. Um, it has caused us to hate ourselves, hate our wives, hate our mothers and fathers. We have despised the way we look. And this, this, that faucet must be eradicated, must be changed. Well, the emergence of black films that's on the rise, like you mentioned, uh, Moonlight, that portrays a homosexual lifestyle. There's a homosexual LGBT agenda to push us that way. I also saw a movie uh, called Superfly, which pushes the drug life amongst our people. And it's portrayed visually beautiful, but it makes, it glamorizes the drug world. Um, Black Panther, I also saw that, visually beautiful. But these are all European um, pro producers behind these things. Um, and what they do, like regarding Black Panther, it pushes idolatry. Uh, for example, um, they had to worship Panther God, if I'm not mistaken. And that's idolatry. It still leads us down the path of sin. IUIC must stand separate from these things. We must do our own movies based upon the biblical writings of our ancestors, our ancient ancestors under the inspiration of an almighty black God. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of concepts regarding sisterhood, marriage, family, 
um, IUIC Watch and Read, which deals with um, educating our children, our youth, on our history. Well, it's also going, we're going to delve into puppeteering, things of that nature. There's a lot of things we're going to do. And with the help of our people, we can surely succeed. Of course, with the Most High's help, of course, who gives us the inspiration. So we definitely need the help of men and women uh, financially to help these endeavors. Uh, it shows a unity, and we have never truly seen unity amongst our people in the context of what's God-related. We've seen uh, um, segments of it in history. However, Europeans have always come against us when you examine uh, Black Wall Street, for example. The Also, the largest, quote-unquote, Black movement, which was under uh, Marcus Garvey, that was also annihilated under uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, in these last days, there's going to be, this is another push and we definitely, we will succeed because the Bible prophesies we will succeed. Um, Zephaniah 2 and 1, gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Ephesians 4 and 3, New Testament, where the Lord says, endeavoring to keep the unity in a bond of peace. That's something black people have never done, blacks and Latinos. We must come together under what God teaches us to do. Mm. As financially well off as our Oprah Winfrey's are, our Tyler Perry's are, they have never seen the Bible from its true standpoint, as I said earlier. Sure, you could say Bible, the Bible is for black people, but they'll come back and say it's for all people. But when you read the scriptures, for example, Genesis 2 and 7, when the Most High says, the scriptures say, the Lord God for man of the dust of the ground, proving that Adam and Eve were a black man and black woman. Uh, remember Genesis 1, verse 26, it says, uh, let us make man in our image. Wisdom of Solomon 13, 3, it says that God is the first author of beauty. That tells you everything about Adam and Eve right there, that they look like God, black men and black women. So it's going to, it's going to be it's going to affect the financial leaders of black of the black community in such a way like they've never seen. It will inspire them to do greater works than they think that they're doing now. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.